Hey everyone, welcome to today's video on integrated survey with Trimble Access. Today we're looking at how we can connect to a total station and a GNSS receiver at the same time and what functionality that gives us. So first we have to set up our survey style. So I'm going to go to the menu, settings and survey styles. Here we have a predefined integrated survey integrated survey style here and we're going to edit that. We're going to choose what, uh, what survey styles we want to use for our conventional um, setup and our GNSS setup. Here I'm using our VX and S series and my RTK survey style. Next I have to choose the prism to antenna offset. So here I can choose from a list of uh, targets and that's going to automatically calculate the offset between the center of the target and the bottom of the quick release. Here I'm using an R10 360, so I'm going to select that. And you can see there it fills in with uh, 2.8 centimeters. So I'm going to accept that and store it. So now I'm going to start my survey style. Now I don't have any control with this job. I've set my title station up in a random place and I want to do a resection off some GNSS points. So I'm going to start my survey style with a resection style uh, survey setup. So this will connect to my GNSS first and I'm going to choose my base station. And now I'm going to connect to my total station for my resection. So it prompts you with the standard resection form. I'm going to give it a temporary name for R1 and give it a code of a temporary point and my instrument height there is 1.642. I also want to compute the station elevation. So now here I don't have a point to put in as my point name. I'm going to measure one with the GNSS receiver. So point name, I'm going to call this first point point 100. Again, say it's a temporary point. And I'm going to just try start my measurement. Now Trimble Access knows that that point doesn't exist in the job, so it's going to ask you if you want to measure it with GNSS. Yes, I do. It's also because I've got an R12i telling me that I can use my um, that I can use my tilt, but I have to still level the pole for my conventional observations. So I'm going to go OK. In this job here, I'm actually going to turn off my tilt compensation. So now I'm going to level my pole and I'm going to measure my GNSS points. Now it jumps back to the resection form and I can measure that same observation now with my total station. Now I've got to move to do my next point. Now I've completed my resection, I can have a look at the residuals, see the results, confirm whether that fits into my tolerances, and store it and start my survey. Now that we've set up my survey style, I can choose whether I want to measure a point using the to total station or the GNSS receiver. So to switch between these, I just need to tap the status bar in the top right hand corner of Trimble Access. So I'm going to use the total station to measure some spot heights as I walk along. So now that I've moved behind this tree, I'm no longer in line of sight of the total station. But I can just switch to the GNSS receiver and measure my point using that. Now I've moved back in range of the total station, but it's no longer pointing at me. I can use the GPS search function 
to automatically point to the exact location of the prism. If I jump to the total station uh, page, you can see behind the prism icon, there's a little, there's a little satellite. Uh, that means that it's going to use the position of the GPS receiver to turn to the prism. So now, if I go into my instrument functions and tap search, it's going to turn to the prism and lock on straight away. In this video, we looked at integrated surveying, where we can connect to a total station and a GNSS receiver at the same time. We looked at how we can do a resection of temporary GNSS points, how to switch between GNSS observations and total station observations, and how to use the GPS search to automatically snap your total station onto your target. Thanks for watching.